I was Ron at the Winter NAM 2012, and we're at the Teenage Engineering booth, and I'm with Tobias von Hofsten, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the OP1. Hello, guys. Um, so, Teenage Engineering, based out of Stockholm, Sweden, uh, with the makers of the OP1 synthesizer. This has been available for six months and uh, selling very well. Two, three days ago, we updated it to uh, add a whole bunch of new functionality, but I'm just going to give you a quick rundown. So we have a four track tape recorder, six minutes worth of audio. Uh, we have a synthesizer section, a few different uh, digital, weird, uh, uh, unique uh, synth engines. We have a drum machine sampler, both sample based and uh, synthesis based. So you can tweak your own sounds, you can load your own samples. We have a built-in microphone, which you can sample right away. We have a built-in uh, FM radio, uh, so you can get, uh, just plug a, plug a antenna in here and you get a, a radio signal. You can sample right off the radio. Oh, that's cool. Uh, we have internal sampling, so you, you can uh, bounce, you can do tape tricks, bounce uh, tracks down to one, and you can continue editing. Um, we have a... Uh, whole bunch of sequencers, uh, like an ar uh, arpeggio type sequencer. This uh, sequencer here was released uh, three days ago. It's called the Finger Sequencer. We got uh, some monkey drummers going here. and um, It's great fun for, uh, for live jamming and, and just uh, having fun. We have, let's see. How much memory can it hold? Well, uh, we're talking presets. Uh, and user uh, uh, presets, so we can have uh, 42 uh, drum kits, uh, 100 synth presets, uh, and and the memory. Yeah, I mean we have four times six uh, minutes worth of audio on the on the tape track. So that's for samples. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. and for, for recording. So when you have your 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 sound, your bass, your lead, your whatever ready. You just hit this and uh, press record. You can uh, uh, you have a metronome, so you can hear what you're playing and uh, and, and just jam it in. And then you get to track two and layer the bass or the drums or and create the vocals and such. So you can use that as a sketch pad. You can also use that as a full blown performance instrument. Uh, it's good for uh, for making. It's, it's all digital and very unique. We're not trying to emulate anything. We're just uh, making our own thing here. So it's a stereo output? Exactly. Eighth inch stereo In out. Uh, USB uh, to your computer so you can access all the files back and forth. Uh, you could use it as... And then uh, you play it as... You could use a MIDI controller keyboard exactly. to play the sounds? Exactly. You could use sounds. it in OP1 mode, normal mode, uh, controller mode, acts as a control surface for, for your favorite DAW. Um, can enter disk mode to access all the files, uh, so you can you can uh, get all the tape files to your DAW. Continue working on it at home, your computer. Um, and when you are, you know, just tired of making music, you want to kill a few hours. You enter the secret game mode here. Oh, let's see. A little gaming that we just added as well. A game with Choplifter. Uh, a little. Uh, a little arcade style game here. That's yeah, cool. Uh, so this is available right now, uh, and every time we update it, it update it. And it's free for everybody, so just uh, download a file from our website, and uh, it's like a firmware update. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. uh, so this is 8.49, and uh, is it street price? Or? Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. So that's the OP1, and okay. we also have some other products that I would love to show you. Okay. Uh, what would be your, like your typical workflow when you use this? Like, if you're writing a song, would you kind of start with it, doing a few samples and adding some synth to it, or how, well, how do you like to use it? My daughters love to sample their own voice and just fool around with it. And then, uh, oh, and kind of glitch around. Exactly. Uh -huh. And, and uh, I, what, what I what I do, I you know, I, if I get a melody in my head, sometimes I just oh, this is a quick way to to say that to to future. Uh, or just uh, will it save like the MIDI notes on there? Yes, or? yes. It oh, does. it saves not, that. Not on the tape. It's, the tape is uh, audio. Is audio. But um, 
we it, do have the sequencers. Like, oh, it's like a sequencer. Exactly. So you, you could a, use it like on an airplane then, huh? Oh, sure. Yeah. It, it's uh, battery powered. Um, standby time 16 hours. Uh, uh, with use, you get like five, eight hours. Uh, and it's rechargeable over USB. You can use any uh, you know phone uh, charger or whatever. Uh, USB charger. Um, the tape can be synchronized to external MIDI clock. It also sends uh, MIDI clock out. That's a new feature uh, uh, that was highly re requested. And uh, oh, okay. so you can use it as yeah, a companion to, to your, your uh, existing sequencer. Uh, you can also, another fe uh, feature that we added was, yeah, yeah I should say this. It's, it's not really about numbers and, and fine details, it's just everything here is color-coded. So uh -huh. you see the blue turns the blue parameter, the green turns to green and white and so forth. And that's the same for, for all these uh, synth engines. It's not really so much a, a details machine. You should, you should go by your ear and uh, what, what, you, what sounds good. Yeah. Uh, and that, uh, that actually... Uh, Frees you up of, of your, uh, uh, yeah, your your limitations of everything has to be perfect. This is just having fun. And then, yeah. Is there uh, any? Can we hear some of the sound? Or we have to get off uh, this headphone, yeah. though, huh? Or is it going? Uh, we have oh. uh, we have this uh, running connected to the speakers. So. Okay. Um, Yuri, can you can you play some for these guys? Just just. Uh, so this is our, our uh, stand for, for three units. Uh, it, it's, it's the same machine uh, connected together. Link one goes into the other, goes into the other next. And we also use it to hook up to uh, our new uh, sensors and uh, uh, connectivity box called the Op Lab. Uh, this right here. Thanks. Uh, so you heard it. Uh, and the new product announced a few days ago here is uh, the Op Lab. It's like a um, connectivity platform. You can basically connect anything to anything using uh, USB, MIDI, in, out, and through. Uh, also Sync 24, uh, CV gate, a bunch of them. We have made some sensors to go with that, so you can trigger whatever sound you want, uh, whatever gear you want. You can route it like you want to. We have a, a pressure sensor. We have a accelerometer sensor. Uh -huh. so you can shake. This also has an, uh, an accelerometer built in. So when you're on stage jamming it out, you can go like, you know, oh. shake it up and uh, shake the sound. We also you just buy the. the the separate pieces. Exactly. Those, uh -huh. So this is the separate what piece. You want. The off lab is a separate uh, a product, and you you can use these independently, and you know use it with your modular system, or use it with your uh, analog drum machine, your new iPad, your whatever you want to connect, uh -huh. uh, with or without a computer. So we're also making the uh, Team Sneaker One TS uh, One here, uh, which has a. Uh, pocket to uh, uh, allow you to insert a wireless sensor so you can wirelessly connect to any of your gear doing uh, a kick and a snare and oh. a kick and a snare dance or use it as a BPM counter or um, uh, you can also add the, the uh, accelerometer in here so you, when you shake your legs you it shake the sound does it. Oh. And, uh, and then that wirelessly goes into that unit exactly, that you're plugged exactly. into yep and then the routing can be adjusted any way you want. So if you have an input goes out to three outputs and the next goes, to, you know, you can do whatever you want basically. And oh, so this all three of those are wireless that go, that will, that'll connect into that, huh? Uh, these, uh, this, this example here is mm -hmm. the trigger, okay. the tap sensor that goes uh, by a cable into the, the CV gate. Uh, yeah, the gate um, input and then we use that to trigger uh, this or the drum machine, or and uh, is that available now? Uh, it will ship in six weeks. Six weeks. Uh, this is available. This is. Uh, I'm not sure actually when we will release it, but 
and we didn't have 11s for the show. I would have worn them any, uh, if, if we had, but we're getting sizes uh, to fit all yeah. and will be available soon. That's cool. Okay. So uh, check us out, teenageengineering.com. Uh, we do sell directly from our web store and we're also talking to selected stores. So if you have a favorite store and they don't carry our products, have them contact us. And okay. Hook you how up. much do you know how much that'll this be? This is 849. This is uh, 299 for the off lab. Uh, the shoe is 149 and the sensor is uh, sold extra. Uh, and you can also get the, the entire entire uh, the tray, tray and the uh, three sensors and everything you here for 449 I think. 449. Uh, so. All right. Thanks, you know. guys. Thanks a lot. And um, show. we hope to uh, to uh, yeah have you back soon. Yeah, there you have it. Teenage engineering. Check out that stuff.